Hello everybody and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video and today we're going to be doing another versus video and in today's versus video we are going to be racing the Sea Dragon with the SpaceX Starship. These two vehicles are going to be starting from Kerbin and going to be seeing who can get to the Mun first and then in addition to going to the Mun they will also be coming back. So first one back will take the W so let's get straight into the race. Alright both contestants are ready to go three two one and lift off all right they are underway the sea dragon obviously taking off from the water as it normally does and the starship taking off from the Kerbal space and doing a little bit of a roll program as we can get the time lapse going sea dragon firing its one giant massive engine and then the uh, the super heavy booster is firing the 28 merlin engines uh, and this obviously not really how it's scaled in kst but you know that's the idea that's how the real one works and then the sea dragon also has those four radially mounted engines at the top there also giving a little bit of a push as it has taken an early advantage sea dragon's already through 14 kilometers as the starship just about crosses the 10 kilometer mark both vehicles are going to be getting ready for stage separation the Sea Dragon is going to be getting ready first. There it goes. There goes the booster, and here goes Booster Cam. Now, if you don't know, the real Sea Dragon actually uses parachutes to recover the bottom stage and upper stage. Sea Dragon is a fully reusable craft, but parachutes are for plebs, so our Sea Dragon stages are going to be recovered propulsively with some air brakes and stuff. While that is happening, the Super Heavy Booster has detached from the Starship and has now done it. Boost back, burn head back to the Kerbal Space Center as the Sea Dragon bottom stage is getting ready to relight its engine and begin its landing burn to come in for a nice soft touchdown on the uh, on the desert as the fairing has now been popped on the Sea Dragon. Starship now is firing three of its vacuum engines and one of its sea level engines just about to drop down to its uh, three vacuum going to cut that last sea level engine there it goes sea level engines just give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a push to get on uh get a nice little twr push to get on and get into orbit as that happens the sea dragon has already gotten through its second uh the first burn of its second stage radar and is lighting its second stage once again to get into orbit around Kerbin. and now the uh, Super Heavy is coming in just over the KSC, getting ready to do its own landing burn not too much longer after Sea Dragon as uh, the main Starship upper stage is just about to complete its uh, first burn. And here comes the Super Heavy lighting its engines and... and... Touchdown with literally no fuel left. So yeah, definitely cutting a little bit close on that one, but uh, there we go. Now Starship has also completed its initial burn and is now gliding on up to its app laps, getting to do an orbital insertion burn. The Sea Dragon has gotten into a good orbit and is now deorbiting its upper stage. Upper stage, uh, be me being the genius that I am, I actually forgot to put air brakes down here. So this is going to be a little bit, little bit of a toasty re-entry. We can do a little bit of a burn with the engine to help slow us down. You'll see that in a little bit. I do have some parachute suits, blah, blah, parachutes, oh, can't speak, um, on there just for redundancy's sake. And because the Sea Dragon has spent all that time deorbiting de its stage before it can gone out to its translunar injection, the Starship has taken a little bit of an early advantage and it is as the starship is planning its maneuver mode to get out to the mun as the sea dragon has just lit up its engines do its quick little pulse of the engines about slows the sound about 100 meters a second to avoid overheating come sea dragon now getting ready to do its second landing burn as starship has relit its three vacuum engines do its translunar injection and there go the sea dragon engines as we are now coming in for a nice little landing on the surface of Kerbin. There we go. Kind of a cool plume little thing coming out with those uh, radial engines. And there we go. Nice soft touchdown. Now we can cross right back to the main Sea Dragon upper stage. Listen, Sea Dragon. This is actually a recreation of a concept art of an, uh, a direct descent Apollo mission. So I, I, there really weren't that many proposed Sea Dragon um, lunar designs. So I just kind of, I kind of just found something that was a direct descent um, lunar kind of thing and I just that thing and it was pretty cool It's you know it's got pretty big landing legs so I guess that's a plus um, and some solar panels and crap like that but Starship is just about to finish its burn now the uh, the I don't know if you can call this oh it's called Sea Dragon the Sea Dragon has uh, four skipper engines so it has a much higher thrust to weight ratio than Starship's three Wolfhound engines so it is going to uh, begin to gain ground on Starship as it's 
or a trans lunar injection is like less than half as long as the starship but starship is already at the money getting to do its orbital insertion burn around the money sea dragon has just finished up its trans lunar injection like to quickly get the plugs out of the way guys and you know i gotta do them at some point uh, you know if you're loving the video my gosh is this the greatest thing you've ever seen in your races you want to see more of this crap you know subscribe button i know very subtle right and discord we got a great discord amazing discord i i hope um i don't know um by the way, if you comment, I tried to respond to all of them. Haven't been really doing great at that lately, but we'll we'll get them all. Don't don't you worry. Hopefully, I, I've got definitely got all of them on my most recent video. I think so. Improvement, yay! Okay, so we're more like the improvement because I used to get up on every video. But anyway, point is, the Starship has relit its engines, its vacuum engines to do its lunar landing, and so has the Sea Dragon. It has started a little bit later, but since it has a much higher thruster ratio, it is going to slowly be gaining on the Starship as the Sea Dragon comes down a little crater, and the Starship is being a little more sensible and not landing in the middle of a giant. Well, they both are kind of landing in dusty areas, but that's kind of just official mod thing. But the landing legs have now been deployed on Starship as it is now coming in for a landing on the lunar surface and touchdown! There it goes, and Sea Dragon has now deployed its landing leg, and here it comes for its own little landing, and touchdown! Now the Kerbals are going to get out and quickly try and plant the uh, flag and they can get back in, but unfortunately Starship is out of fuel, so it is going to need to get a little bit of a refuel uh, using the help of a rover that is going to be appearing right about now. There it is going to get a little bit of rover to get refueled and this is going to give Sea Dragon the opportunity to, to go ahead and take the lead over the Starship as the, uh, <laughs> the fallen over flag has been planted and the Kerbal has re-embarked onto the Sea Dragon, and they're going to get ready to stage away the upper stage and get ready to take off. There it goes! And they are back in the air, and Starship has finished refueling, and it is also firing up its three Raptor engines to get into a lunar orbit. So, looks like the Sea Dragon has taken the lead over Starship, and it also has a higher TWR because it has those four Terrier engines on there, which are giving it a pretty healthy amount of thrust as it gets into an orbit, but the um, the Wolfhound engines are still pushing. They're they're hopefully going to make it, you know? <laughs> it's, it's Starship's chugging along, although to be honest, this is, this is the, even the Wolfhounds are a really high TWR relative to, you know, a lot of things. Um, but uh, there you go, the, uh, the second burn of those Terrier engines on the Sea Dragon now is going to do its final burn, which is going to get it on a return trajectory over towards Kerbin. It's not looking good very much. Well, blah, blah. Words! I'm so great at commentating right now, I should be hired by the national, um, biggest sport league of your local area. You know, I don't know. World Cup? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, here he is coming in for a nice little goal! I don't know, I don't, there's no goals in this. Either way, I don't know. There's my great accent of a soccer F football, football commentator. Um, as the, uh, as the Sea Dragon has now begun its re-entry process, or Starship is really going to have to kick things into gear here if it wants to, uh, if it wants to take the lead here. I'm going to have to hope that Sea Dragon has a nice long parachute ride down. That's the, really its only hope of winning, but you know, there's still hope. Stay tuned, don't click away for your attention, am I right? So... Sea Dragon is now getting through some re-entry heating. is coming in for a very steep re-entry. It is not going to be cutting any corners. Not going to, not, no, no hair in the rabbit. Hair, hair, hair and the turtle. Yeah, that one. That's the story. Um, and here we go. Starship is coming in for its first arrow braking or engine assisted arrow braking pass around Kerbin. Hair and the tortoise. That's the one. <laughs> I talk about the most random crap in, this, in these videos, don't I? Um, but now Starship's going to be getting ready to do its final arrow breaking path, or final deorbit, basically. It is now coming in for a landing as the Sea Dragon is getting ready to deploy its parachute. It's going to be deploying the parachute at the last second. Doesn't want to give Starship any chance to get ahead, but Starship is definitely going to be gaining some ground right now as it gets ready to do its belly flop. Going to be activating the fins on Starship very, very shortly. And Starship is going to start going under aerodynamic control and begin to belly flop towards the ground. There it goes. Starship is now on its belly flop. The parachutes have been deployed on the Sea Dragon capsule. It is coming down very, very shortly, just under 200 meters. But the Starship is also gaining ground very quickly through 5 kilometers, through 4 kilometers, coming in very fast, over 240 meters a second. Starship is getting ready to do the flip maneuver right about now. Here come the three vector engines and there is the flip as the sea dragon is now under 60 meters 50 meters starship now going retrograde transitioning down from the three uh vectors to two vectors now this in the last part of its landing burn and oh the sea dragon has won 
Couldn't quite make it, Starship. Kind of sad. Here it comes, coming in. One last little, nice little landing. Actually, the landing was kind of wobbly, but uh, either way. Um, yeah. Just a quick FI FYI about this, the series. Um, this isn't supposed to be like an accurate representation of anything. Like, I are, you know, like it's not going to go off a mission clock. This is just going off of like my play clock, my play time, like the amount of time it took me to do the mission in, in game, like, like the literal amount of time I was at my keyboard, like physical time and stuff like that. So, and, and the, the videos are pretty much are like mostly 80, 90% synced up, I would say, roughly. Um, the time time lapse. So not not too many weird fishy things going on, but uh, yeah. So I, I get a lot of comments on these series on the series or the videos like, "Hey, go off the mission clock." You know, this, this is for entertainment purposes, and this is obviously supposed to be like a fair comparison. This is just a race for entertainment purposes, and that is the end of the video. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, and bye.